All right, I'm hyped today. Only a few hours ago, Fallout London team added everybody in their Discord server out of the blue with the soundtrack video they posted a few years ago for the song I Just Can't Wait For Tomorrow. Also, they added in a spoiler section and some bot redirects for installation, currently only linking to the website. So a bit after the next gen update debacle, they hinted at knowing the day, but not knowing what the date was, leaving me to believe that a shadow drop like this is super possible. Either that, or less excitingly, a drop for the actual release date. Future me can confirm. So I was right. Yeah, looks like it is releasing. Um, so TK Mantis, big Fallout modding guy, creator dude, I've been watching his videos for years, tweeted out, yes, Fallout London will be releasing tomorrow. But yada yada, I'll have a video. I uh, can't wait to check out this amazing DLC site thing now he is but just a youtuber cool thing is, is that team fallout london themselves have reposted this and then said as you can see because i do go over the fact that the gog website is up um that the gog page is up so it looks like we are getting fallout london tomorrow no other information out there about installation or whatever we're just gonna have to see when we see Y'all don't know, Fallout London is a game-sized mod for Fallout 4 set across the pond in a post-apocalyptic London. This is a mod so large, it is literally bigger than the base game itself and has been in development for years. It is fully voice acted, you got new creatures, new weapons, new quests, textures, you know, you name it. Now, we should have had it a lot sooner, April 24th to be exact, but Bethesda and all of its out-of-touch glory decided to release the next-gen update and break almost every mod in existence literally two days after Fallout London was planned to release, leaving the beautiful Fallout London team SOL. After all that nonsense, a cool new development for Fallout London, or just modding in general, happened. The game platform GOG actually stepped up to host the mod. I mean, with a mod so damn big, hosting on a Nexus was going to be an issue anyway. GOG being a game retailer means the infrastructure is there, and super smooth downloads and install processes are in your future. You can actually even find the Fallout London page on their website right now. With it being hosted on GOG though, that doesn't mean that you have to own it on GOG. Initially they said that you can install it on the Epic version, the Steam version, and the GOG version, but Epic was dropped off the list recently because you cannot roll back updates. Initially, the Fallout London team was debating on releasing the mod, even with the next-gen update coming out, but they didn't want the install process of being super overcomplicated and wonky the way you need to downgrade your game, which actually seems like it is going to be what they are doing here. Instructions listed on the GOG page say that you will need to download your game version, but that the Fallout London team will provide you instructions so that you can do so. But yeah, man, that's all I got right now. I got my eyes peeled and my body is ready for this mod. I've been waiting for two damn long but yeah man follow for updates i'll keep you guys posted oh and remember mind the gap